Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is December 1st and it's Thursday. Wow, approaching the end of the year. It went by fast. Hey, uh, we got a lot of data going to it, so we're just going to jump right into it. We'll start off with the weekly jobless claims. So, uh, last week we had 251,000 people apply for unemployment. We thought it would kind of forecast us to be in that same range at 250,000, but it did jump up to 268,000 here. Now, Let's touch on jobs uh, here. Yesterday, we had a nice surprise report from ADP with an increase in jobs over 200,000, which was fantastic. Now, weekly jobless claims obviously went up a little bit, about uh, 17,000. Tomorrow, the Bureau of Labor Statistics can be releasing their uh, d data for uh, November, which can be important uh, data to, uh, look, looking forward to. Um, a lot of us are kind of projecting that it could come in pretty good. Uh, of course, we always got the... Uh, t Temporary seasonal ones uh, that can get mixed in there, but uh, when you break it down, it looks like the economy is really kind of m moving forward. I think there's a lot more optimism, especially after the election, as the stock market's been taking off. Uh, and I think you might see a good job report. So uh, today, uh, also ch challenger job cuts was one of the lowest we've seen. Uh, about it was like around twenty six, twenty eight thousand job cuts projected, and that's one of the lowest job cut reports that they came out since 2000 so it's uh things are looking up and up in terms of where the economy is going to be going people are feeling a bit more optimistic uh, as we saw consumer confidence uh yesterday i believe it was we saw those data here so looking forward i'd be very cautious with uh you know playing the markets too much because the job market it could look very well for the uh stock market so let's kind of move on here we got the market manufacturing pmi this is the final revision uh, we usually get two in a day, and as you can see, it went up from 53.9 from its initial reading for the month of November to a final reading at 54.1. Uh, another manufacturing number is uh, I, the ISM. Uh, we had 51.9, uh, and the forecast came in at 52.5, and the final reading came in at 53.2. So both are manufacturing numbers. Uh, that we saw here. So manufacturing, as we can see, is an increase in the month of November, which is uh, very good uh, for for this. And anything considered in this type of index above 50 is considered uh, expansion. Anything below 50 is uh, considered contraction. So obviously we're expanding. Uh, construction spending. Uh, we had nothing in the month of September. Uh, forecast was going to 0.7%. It came up uh, a bit to half percent. Still good, but not quite to the expectations. But Overall, good news what we're seeing here today, even though weekly jobs was up a little bit, but overall, we're seeing some up and up, especially with that job, uh, challenger job cuts that came out uh, as well with the uh, job, projected job cuts out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at, at the headline news. Uh, stock market's a bit mixed today. Um, the Dow is about the only one that's up a little bit, uh, whereas NASDAQ and S&P went down. Now, a lot of this is ta also, ta not only they're taking RDA, but they're looking at the global level. And some of the biggest ones came out that are affecting our market as well. Some really good manufacturing data came out of China, Italy, Japan, and Switzerland. It's kind of showing on a global level that uh, that things are looking up and up for globally, not just the U.S. here. Also, unemployment dropped in the EU to 9.87, which is uh, percent, which came, or, I'm sorry, 9.8, uh, which came in at the lowest since uh, they've. Uh, since 2009 so uh we're seeing improvement in jobs over in europe also oil we're seeing that continue to rise after that agreement yesterday with the uh opec and other oil producing countries uh so now dollar we're seeing traded i'm sorry the uh, oil is now traded uh, right around just over 50 dollars per barrel right now as we see that rise so of course the stock market for the most part is liking this news and it's kind of rising because it's going to help a lot of different industries as a, a process and again, this is kind of reiterating that the uh, Fed uh, will most likely, uh, almost 100%, will raise rates uh, in December here at the next meeting here, next couple of weeks. Now, the next question will be is how soon will they be raised? And again, if, if this data comes out, like the job cuts coming in, uh, is supersedes, I, I mean, comes in really high. Uh, again, how soon will the Fed be cutting, uh, raising rates again uh, in 2017? So that would be the next question coming up after this meeting uh, if we keep seeing these hot data coming out there. So they raise, if, if the economy is getting too hot, they usually raise rates to slow it down a little bit. And that's why you're seeing it. And to help, because otherwise inflation gets out of control. And that's why they try to uh, control inflation. They like to keep it right around the 2% level. But inflation so far has been pretty low. Uh, as we indicated, yes, with the PCE, came in at 1.7. 
even though we're re reaching those levels. Uh, so anyway, so let's take a look here at the bond market. We're approaching some very dangerous levels here. We're at the all uh, lows uh, for this year, and we haven't seen these lows in about two years. Uh, so it's been about two years since we've seen these lows. Now, we're down about 37 basis points right now. We're just above a point level where we're about the 102.12. Uh, it was about the lowest where we've been. So if we could stay above the 102.12, it's right about here. If we could stay above that, we should hopefully be okay but if we start breaking low that we could see another huge sell-off uh in the bond market which would obviously raise rates so be very cautious here uh, i mean you could if you got interest rates you got, you're floating around here uh i would continue to float but be very uh be ready to basically hit the trigger and uh, lock in because again it could worsen very quickly uh on there so be very uh quick to uh you know, right now where we're at, it's low, it's bond market's at its lowest levels. We're hoping for a uh, reprieve here, but again, we need to see if this uh, level can hold and then uh, work our way upwards, get a nice trend upwards. All right, folks. Um, anyways, so rates are again have worsened a little bit today compared to yesterday, as we're down about 37 base points so far this morning. And uh, if you guys like to get more updates throughout the day, just go ahead and go over to Twitter. I'm underneath Mike Bjork, and you can follow me there. I do posts throughout the day uh, on the market there. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Remember, we've got the big jobs reports tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.